and welcome back to Vlogween. My name is Happy Black Legends and I am so happy that you are here. Hello. Today I wanted to film a video um, giving you guys some tips on how to celebrate Halloween on a budget. Things that I've learned over uh, the time I've spent planning for Vlogween. So the first thing that I'm just going to tell you right now is for me, I am against buying costumes look that it's easier it's easier it's easier I can I can agree I would be stupid to you know deny that however I think number one it takes the fun out of Halloween and number two it's a lot of costumes are like so expensive and you're paying for like really shitty clothing I just feel like a lot of Halloween costumes that you can go out and buy are really poorly made and they're not meant to last you long. I just feel like it's such a waste of money and potentially resources. So some ways you can, you know, make your own costume. Number one, use shit that you already have. Open that damn closet, look through what you've got, and piece something together. You, you more than likely own something to create something. Also, here's the fun thing about Halloween. There are no fucking rules. You can do whatever you want. Like, okay, for some of the looks that I'm doing, I took personal liberties with some of them and I mixed it up and I did it my own way and I said, fuck it, I'm doing it this way because it's easier. That's fine. That's 1000% fine. Um, don't take, it's, it's supposed to be a fun holiday. Don't, you know, put so much pressure on it. You can slap something together probably. But if you really, 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 really want to save, start planning earlier because that will allow you to check out thrift stores, yard sales, um, estate, estate sales, especially antiques. Utilize Craigslist. Craigslist, let go, Macari, offer up all of them. Let those be your friend. Like, for example, there's a costume look that I'm doing that required a mannequin. And so I went on let go. I was gonna buy a mannequin. I went on eBay first. And then I was like, this is so stupid. And so I went on let go just out of curiosity to see what's in the area. I found something the very next day. I got on the bus, went, picked it up. It was in, it was like six dollars for you know the torso for exactly what I needed. It was perfect. It was only six dollars. It was like six sixty seven or something, blah blah blah. But that's what I'm saying. You can be creative and if if you plan ahead, you'll have more time to think of other ways you can save. Like, like had I just waited until Halloween or closer to October or even mid-late September, maybe I wouldn't have been able to find something, you know what I mean? And of course, I'm just a crazy, like, Halloween person, kind of, so I'm saying, like, plan earlier, but, you know, there are years, like, last year I slapped something together. I went as a bumblebee. I, th th <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. Like, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. I also think the Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store are really underutilized places like all of these decorations I pretty much got at both of those establishments some of these things I did already own beforehand but a lot of this stuff like the only things I owned that you guys can see are all the like stuffed animals everything else like bill everything else I got from the 99 cent store the Dollar Tree and they have a lot of cute little stuff and just be smart build your collection I mean if you want to donate to charity if you do want to clear out that's totally fine too but if you're more serious about decorating keep what you keep something you know I always feel like if you're not like totally in love with it then yeah donate or try to sell it and then what you could do even and I see a lot of people do this on let go and Craigslist especially you could gather all of the decorations that you no longer want and sell that for like 15 20 bucks and someone will buy it trust me i well maybe i don't know i spend a lot of time on like apps like that and sites like that looking at like halloween boxes and like old halloween decorations like i spend my time doing that but maybe that's because i'm just i'm a me person i don't know i think the last like some of the last bit of advice that I would have is like okay so yeah utilize what you already have but also think outside of the box 
don't think that you have to get something a very specific way. You can, you know, maybe swap something for cheaper material or unconventional material that's more widely accessible and try to mold and shape that. Ask your friends for help. If you know someone that knows how to sew and is more creative in that way, maybe commission them to help you with your Halloween costume and you can spend some time with your friend. Hell, commission them to, ha to have them help you work on your costume so that way you can even learn how to sew or you can even learn more about costume construction. You know, things like that. Um, lastly, I also think when it comes to asking your friends, ask people for old things that they have. Like, for example, I needed a backpack for one of the Halloween looks that I'm doing. So I did look on Let Go and whatnot, and I did go to Goodwill and I looked at some things. But what ended up happening was I asked my family. I texted them in the family group chat. Yes, I have a family group chat. Don't tease me for it. It's actually kind of funny that I have one. But anyways. Um, and I was like, hey, do you guys have, does anyone have a backpack that they don't care about? Because I need it for a Halloween costume. And my brother had one. And he was like, here you go. It was dirty. It was dusty. He plays soccer. So I washed it, threw some holy oil up in there as well. And it's good as new. So that's money I didn't have to spend. You know what I mean? So just things like that. There are ways to get around, um, you know, what you need. And lastly, one of my other major philosophies is... Especially, so yesterday I went to Spirit Halloween for the very first time, and of course I was super excited to go because I love Halloween. When I got there, I remembered why I was mainly shopping at, at thrift stores and, you know, um, like on Let Go and things like that, because a lot of those stores are way overpriced. Like, it's sort of similar to what I was talking about with the costumes being overpriced. Like, Party City, sometimes I'll pick something up and be like, why is this $30? Why is this $30? But hold up. I got some advice for you. So, one of my favorite things to do every single year... I used to do this at Walgreens, especially, because the Walgreens near my mom's house is 24 hours, 7 days a week. I miss that Walgreens. The Walgreens near me, she's, she doesn't have the range. So I would go, like, November 1st, the morning of, I would go into all the stores and just look around at the clearance sections. And as it got closer to Christmas and stores were getting more and more desperate to clear out merchandise, I would... That was my water bottle. <laughs> I would then stock up for next year, or I would get so, like little things here and there. So that's something that I love to do every year. I think that's one of the main biggest ways you can save. Um, if you see something you like, bookmark it, create a Pinterest board, and then keep your eye on it because more than likely towards the end of the season it might be on sale, you never know. Especially, 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 with like Halloween boutiques, like Spirit Halloweens, or just any sort of pop-up Halloween stores. Dude, I'm telling you, because they're desperate to close. They usually, usually Halloween stores are out by the middle of, like usually before Thanksgiving, right? So there used to be a Halloween store um, next to my mom's house and every year, well not every year, I mainly did this like, I, mean, I did this like two years. But I would go in there after Halloween and to look around and get gather materials or look at look at things and try to gu drum up some inspiration, things like that. I think that is like also a huge way you can save money. So I'm definitely like um, when I don't want to think about it, but when Halloween's over and the Christmas goblins start to settle in for their stupid Christmas cheer. Um, I just think that's like one of the, that's the best time to go out and explore. Like I'm definitely going to go to Spirit Halloween um, and I might, I might even film that maybe. Maybe I'll do like a little Spirit Halloween discount vlog. Uh, vlog. Like go the last day that they're open. Go like the two days before they close. I'm telling you, they're going to have shit marked down so, so, it's to such sexy, sexy low prices. But yeah, what did you guys think of my tips? Do you guys have any tips that I didn't mention? Oh, another thing. Last, final, final, final thing. Um, I would highly, highly recommend that you utilize the internet. And I know, I know that sounds like so passive aggressive, but I mean this. I think sometimes we like, we forget how much information is stored on the internet. Like when people ask me how I was able to maintain like how I was able to learn French without ever being, you know, 
gone to France or how without really taking I mean I took I've taken classes don't get me wrong but people have always asked me like how are you able to do that the internet there are so many resources out there and um, if you have an idea for a costume Google it Google it get some reference photos um, check out Instructables to see if anyone has recreated that costume before and has any tips. Check out cosplay channels. Maybe there's a tip for another costume that could, that is applicable to your costume. Like let's say you want to make a trench coat and someone make, made a trench coat for some character. You don't care about the character but there's a trench coat, you know, how to. So get to it and <laughs> you make that trench coat, you know what I'm saying? I just think there are things that you can do to save money for Halloween so you can still have some fun without blowing out the bank because quickly especially like like when it's something that I really really like money goes out of my brain and I have to like stop myself and go look you don't need this like yesterday at Spirit Halloween there was like a few things that I ended up picking up and was like kind of walking around with like a goblin and I was like bitch you don't need this you don't you don't need this and I like I said I know okay come November 1st Half of this shit's gonna go 50% off, 75% off. Hey, have you ever been to a Halloween Depot store on like closing day? Cause I have. It's, it's ecstasy. It's pure ecstasy. Everything is marked down to such cheap prices. Like, oh my god. So those are my tips and tricks on how to maintain a budget during the Halloween season and things like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for joining me um, on another Vlogween. I am so excited to be here. Finally, like you guys don't. I have been dreaming about this moment for a while. So if you are watching this video and it is October or after October of 2020, we've made it. Oh, we have made it and it is officially Halloween season. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, a huge thank you to my patrons, my subscribers, and to you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I will see y'all in the next one. Alrighty, guys. Bye.